For the love of God, what is the difference between selenite and satin spa? Because I'm sick of people arguing about it. Now, my name's Luke, and what I do is I teach people about crystals, minerals, and various different kinds of natural science that bring all of these wonderful things that we love to collect and pour over into existence. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, then by all means follow us, because we've got upwards of 500 educational videos that articulate this subject in a fairly comprehensive way. Now, one of the most polarising arguments that I see unfolding in the comment section of Crystal Forum's The Internet Over is... What is the difference, if any, between satin spa and selenite? Now, this argument is fairly asinine because, to be honest with you, no party is right and no party is wrong. In fact, it's kind of a matter of opinion whether or not there is a meaningful distinction between these two materials at all. These are both calcium sulfate dihydrates, uh, which basically means that they're both varieties of gypsum. Now, the only real distinction between them is going to be a physical crystal habit, which is going to be distinct from between both of these. So selenite, which is this material here, for example, is sort of translucent, sometimes transparent, and this forms in a fairly slow, fairly uniform way. They're both evaporate minerals, which basically means they come about much in the same way as materials like salt or sylvite. So they'll come about as a result of saline water or salt water slowly evaporating. Now, the difference between selenite, which is the transparent, translucent glass-like material that the Romans used to occasionally use for windows, is the fact that this forms very slowly. So when that water is evaporating, it does so very, very, very slowly. Now, satin spa, on the other hand, which is this sort of pearl-like, sort of silky lusted material, which by comparison is quite fibrous, it's fundamentally the same thing. The compositions are identical. The atomic system is identical. The proportions of the ingredients are identical. The only real difference is the fact that aesthetically, it looks entirely different to selenite. It is translucent, but it is not transparent. It is not opaque in the same way that many minerals are. They both conduct light quite beautifully, but this is quite demonstrably fibrous. Now, this is as a result of the fact that it forms tremendously fast. By comparison to a material like selenite, for example, which has exactly the same composition, this forms fast and this forms slow. Other than that, they are fundamentally the same material. Now, on occasion, I hear satin spa and selenite being described as polymorphs. Now, if you don't know what a polymorph is, a vague understanding of Greek is sometimes helpful in mineralogy. So poly meaning many or multiple and morph meaning formation or shape. So many shapes. It's usually indicative of a material which has or materials that have exactly the same chemical composition, but they exhibit entirely different atomic structures. So something like graphite and diamond, which are both derivations of carbon. They are fundamentally different, but they have entirely similar or exactly the same chemical compositions, which is derived of carbon. Now, there's lots of different kinds of polymorphs, but satin spa and selenite in no way fall into that category. They are, in every sense of the word, the same thing. The only thing that has caused them to form in different ways and form into mildly different aesthetic crystalline habits is the fact that they've formed in slightly different environments. So one selenite has formed very, very slowly. So it has afforded it this opportunity to develop this beautiful, transparent sort of uh, manner in which it reacts with light, whereas satin spa has grown remarkably fast, so has formed in this sort of very tightly bound, fibrous, chatoyant manner. Now, chatoyant is one of these beautiful words from the Middle French that means cat's eye, which is basically an optical phenomenon which extends to various minerals, satin spa being one of them. So, what is the difference between satin spa and selenite? Well, the answer is really not very much at all. In fact, it would probably be less misleading just to describe satin spa as satin spa selenite. They are not polymorphs. They share exactly the same chemical composition. They share exactly the same molecular makeup. They share exactly the same atomic structure. And the only manner in which they differ is just their aesthetic habit. And as humans, we look different. We're still human. <laughs>